Hi, my name is Chris Fitz, and I'm an applications engineer here at Crotts and Saunders. And I'm Howard Siders, also an application engineer here at Crotts and Saunders. And we'd like to show you our uh, Winston-Salem facility, where we have two different uh, metrology labs. Uh, we'll take you into the first one, which is our vision uh, lab. For our vision side of our company, we represent QBI, which is Quality Vision International, out of Rochester, New York. They build several different platforms of vision systems. Uh, we have a couple here to be able to show you what we have. We have the View Benchmark, uh, which is their fixed optic, fixed mag systems, which can have 1x, 2.5x, 5x type lenses, can be single mag, dual mag. Uh, the lightings, they have RGB lightings, a deployable ring light. Uh, so what we kind of do here in this lab is this is where we do our contract inspection sometimes. We also do custom machine fixturing. Uh, you can see on this machine we have an example of the custom fixturing that we can do. Uh, we offer turnkey services where we sell you the machine, uh, we design and build the fixtures, and then do the contract programming on top of that. So once the system hits your manufacturing space, it's ready to go make them inspecting parts. Uh, we have a couple of those. And then we also, even though this is our vision lab, um, QBI also has what they call the flex gauge. It's a tactile CMM, it's more for shop floors. Uh, where you can put it beside of a machine, put it in an automated cell. Uh, we've done a couple projects where we've worked with our sister company, Ultratech, where we've done some automation loading and unloading the inspection equipment. It can be custom probing, so you're not limited to any kind of fixed probing that some other CMM manufacturers do. Uh, the software lets us build uh, any kind of configuration of probe we need. It can run SP25, it can run TP20, uh, a lot of flexibility with these machines. This is a C35, so it's got a 350 millimeter X. They also make a smaller platform, two different smaller platforms. They have a flex gauge T25, which we have here, and they make a T16 as well. So if you need a smaller footprint, smaller parts, uh, we can do the same thing with that as well, from automation to custom fixture design to programming as well. So we turn it, it hits the floor ready to roll. Uh, and then we also have a snap uh, system, which is QBI's large field of view. Uh, we have a 250 here, but they also make a 450 uh, platform machine for larger parts or for multiple parts. And again, it's kind of repetitive, but we also offer turnkey fixturing and programming on these machines as well. Uh, and then here's the other benchmark. That's the 250 platform. Uh, we also have a Renishaw equator. Uh, we work with Renishaw. This runs with Modus, uh, where it's also kind of similar to the flex gauge. It's for shop floors. It's for inspecting at the uh, machining cell as well. Uh, at this point, I will take you out of this lab and we will go over and talk to Mr. Chris Fitz in the CMM lab. Hi, welcome back. I'm gonna take you into our CMM lab now. So here in our CMM lab, we like to focus on the 3D aspect of metrology. So here we have a couple different technologies um, that you know really help uh, nail down some 3D metrology aspects. So here we have our shape grabber. This is an AI620 by QVI. Um, essentially what this is is a rotary table with a laser line scanner. Um, this one's a fairly large model, so we can capture about 300 millimeters in diameter uh, by 600 millimeters tall. Um, so it really allows you to capture a decent sized part. Um, moving over here, we have another one of our technologies. We have a Cyber Gauge 360. This one also uses a very similar setup to a rotary table. Um, inside there's also two different structured light scanners, so that's the key difference there. Uh, this one allows you to capture 360 degrees around the part without the need of fixtures, so it's incredibly powerful when it comes to 3D scanning. Moving on, we'll take a look at one of our newer machines that we have. This is our Ames Linear Motor 102010. So this is one of the larger CMMs that we have to offer. Um, this one's set up currently with a PH10M and an SB25 scanning probe. So uh, essentially we've got a very large volume tactile scanning CMM to work with. Um, primarily we sell these with either Modus or CMM Manager. So, you know, there's a software and a size of machine that will fit the need for you. Um, definitely a good, good machine to work with. Ames has been around for quite a long time. Uh, they've developed quite a good, you know, standing in the area of CMM, so we're really happy to work with them. 
Moving on to our rebuild area. So here we have an Endeavor Series CMM, and if they look similar to the linear motor we just looked at, there's a reason. Um, this is actually an old Sheffield machine, uh, of which Ames is now you know, the proprietor for. Um, but when we take a look at this machine, you can see that it is in a state of repair, and that is because we do offer retrofits and rebuilds. So if you guys do have an old CMM that needs to be rebuilt, or if you guys are in the market for a, you know, used machine that can be had at a lower price, um, you know, these are definitely a good option. We can help set them up any way that you guys need, be it uh, tactile scanning or five axis touch or even five axis scanning. You know, really it's, it's uh, all driven by your need at that point. Um, so those are a few options that we have, and now I'm gonna take you guys out on the floor where we can see some of the other rebuilds that we have in progress. Um, so we're not limited to what Ames used to build or currently builds as far as the CMMs go. Um, for instance, here we have an older Mitatoyu that's currently in the process of being retrofit. Um, so, you know, the, the scope of what we can do is really quite large in terms of the used market. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about this or anything else you've seen, please feel free to reach out to myself or Howard Siders uh, or even your local sales guide. Um, you can also find all the information on our website. Thanks.